This is 3TV News at 9, and we begin tonight with breaking news. This picture just into our newsroom. This is an 18-year-old who was arrested. Allegedly, he had a bomb inside his home in Tempe. I'm Carrie Pena. Thank you for being with us. And I'm Fields Mosley. Breaking news in Tempe tonight, where police have just arrested that high school senior. We just showed, the, showed you that picture. They say they found an IED, an improvised explosive device, inside his home. Yeah, and they say this is the real deal. Jerry Dillingham is live outside the home near Baseline in McClintock, where this, ba this bomb has allegedly been found. Jared? Carrie, we just got a briefing from police. It was actually a maid who found the bomb and bomb making materials inside this home this afternoon while she was cleaning it. Police are inside right now uh, searching for more evidence. Uh, so far, they say they have found gunpowder, wiring, and other materials, but they aren't detailing what else is involved at this point. The maid brought the device to the fire station, which is around the corner from us. The firefighters called police, and the bomb squad immediately confirmed that this was an improvised explosive device or an IED, a homemade bomb. Luckily, it did not detonate when the maid picked it up to bring it to the fire station and the bomb squad was able to defuse the device, which police are describing as something big enough to cause major damage. Police later arrested an 18-year-old named Joshua Prater who lives at the home. He's a senior at Marcos Deniza High School in Tempe, who by all neighbor accounts seemed to be a polite, studious, typical teenager. Um, that's surprising to us. Yeah. Uh, seemed like a very nice boy. Yeah. There was a fuse that was coming out from the device, which would be the, how you light it, and it, it would cause a fuse to go in there and explode. So this bomb was basically ready to go? The bomb was ready to go. It was active. All it needed was the trigger. At this point, police tell us they do not believe anyone else was involved in the alleged bomb making going on at this home. Again, one bomb found and diffused by the bomb squad, other bomb making materials found inside the home. As for motive or target, police say they, they don't know who, if anyone, was the intended target by this teenager, but Carrie Fields, that's information they hope to gather as they continue searching the home throughout the night. Back into you. All right, interesting stuff. Thank you very much, Jared. Well, uh, just last month, a 16 year old student at Marcus Deniza was arrested for making threats on social media sites. He threatened to shoot people at that school, police say. Just one week before that, police responded to a separate threat at the high school. They say a bomb threat was written on the wall of a restroom. 